Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Ali. I work in TGS as a booming professional. So today in my tech talk, I am going to talk about complete REST API cycle in Boomi. So I will explain how to expose API in Boomi and how to consume that API in Boomi. So let's get started. Okay, so first uh, we will understand what is API. So application programming interface is basically set of defined rules which enable two different different systems to talk to each other. Basically, it acts as a mediator between the system. So nowadays, use of API is very, very common. So whenever you will use phone pay, Google pay, or any e-commerce website there you need to do payment, there we are using API very, very common. So let's talk about REST API. So representational state transfer, that is architecture style, which defines set of constraints to be used for creating any web services. So it is easy to use, it is lightweight, and it is robust over so. So for any API to be called as a REST API, it should follow RESTful principle, like accessibility, stateless, client server architecture, uniform resource URL. Okay, so here you can see I have written some name uh, for connector and component, which we are going to use in Boomi for expose and consume API. Okay, so let's uh, quickly uh, move to Boomi and start our use case. So here you can see I have already created one process and there uh, first I will start uh, what is use case. So here I'm going to expose one API, which will fetch data from database using URI, URI parameter. Okay, so I will open my uh, process. Here you can see I have used database connector. So first I will show, uh, I have created one database of installed one Oracle database in my system. And I have created a table and we have some record. So I'm going to fetch this record using URI parameter through API. Okay, so you can see I have started uh, with the start, save our web service server because to expose any API in Boomi, we have to always start with start, save of connector type. And there, uh, here you can see I will choose this. I have chosen web service server. So action will be always listen. And here you can see uh, we don't have a connection because connection is managed by Atom only. So we will talk about later about the connection. First, we will see uh, what I have configured in operation. Okay. So here you can see uh, these are some details. And as we are going to fetch data from the data, uh, database, so I have chosen action as a set uh, get. And I have given some uh, object name that is not mandatory. But, uh, I have given you and you can see uh, there is some input type. So as it is get operation, so I'm not choosing any uh, input type and response. I have chosen JSON because I'm going to respond in JSON format. And this is the profile. I will show you uh, later uh, where we are using this profile. Okay, so that is completed. And again, uh, after a uh, web series server, I'm going to put this database connector. So let's see what we configured in database connector. So you can see uh, first uh, we have uh, written some connection. So in connection, uh, we can see uh, Oracle and this is my username. This is password and local host and this is port. So I can show you quickly uh, my connection is working or not. So yeah, let's see. Okay, this is working fine. Okay, the action I have chosen get because I need to fetch data from database and this is operation. In operation, uh, we can see a uh, profile. This is kind of mandatory thing. So I will quickly open and I already configured the profile. But yeah, I will show you how to, uh, ex uh, how to import this profile. So you can see here action would be read and uh, I can show you, yeah, so we will become next 
and here you use a lot of uh, tables. Okay, so I will search for my table. The name is student. This is my table. Okay, so you will see the table. I will quickly add and finish it so that I have already done it. So yeah, so this will make only this query, but uh, yeah, you know, like we need to fetch on the basis of some URI parameter. So we need to write where clause and I have added one parameter here that is a student. And this for parameter, we need to write question. Okay, when uh, I will save it. So here you can see uh, it will show to add the parameter. So here, uh, just focus. This is very important for any URI parameter. We need to write here DPP param underscore parameter value. So this param underscore is a uh, mandatory thing that we need to write uh, for the URI parameter. So yeah, I have written and I will click it. Okay. And then you can see I will transform into JSON. Because we are getting uh, we are getting data from database in database format and we are converting into JSON. And after that, we are returning was uh, this will response over the endpoint. This returns you. Okay. So and one thing we should know to make this API REST, complete REST, and also to use URI parameter, we need to use API service component. That I have already created. I will show you how to create. Okay, so here you can see uh, some in uh, here we have different different types. We have general type and general type. Some details are mandatory like API title, version, and base bar. So that I have already filled it, and now you can see I will show you how to import because uh, this is very important. So when you will click on import an endpoint, so we can see we use an existing process. We will check it and we will choose our process, expose REST API, and we will make it complete REST. Okay. Now you can see one uh, endpoint is added and we will see, see uh, for URI parameter, we need to write our parameter value in curly braces. So that we need to write. Okay, and rest looks good. And yeah, so I think that is perfect. We will quickly save it and we will deploy both process on our environment. Okay, so I've already deployed it. So I'm not going to deploy, you can deploy on the server. Okay, so we have deployed it. So <clears throat> to test this API, I, I'm going to show you from where we are going to base uh, get base bar and resource bar. Okay, let's move to uh, atom management. And in atom management, uh, we need to go to shared web server. So whenever we are using API service component, so one thing we should know, the API type will be always advanced. Okay, and we are I'm not using any authentication. So yeah, so this will be the base bar for them. Okay, I will quickly copy and paste here okay so the, here you can see and for resource bar i need to go to gumi again and i will go i will come to this api service component this uh get action and i will copy this bar okay and i will put here we need to append slash after that okay so this is parameter name. So in in place of parameter, we need to pass the actual value in URI parameter. Suppose I'm passing 102. Okay, so you can see uh, we are getting this uh, value. Suppose I'm passing 101. So I'm getting different value. And suppose I'm passing some value which is not there. So it will not give any response. Okay, so this is uh, how we expose the API and consume in Postman. The same thing 
we need to consume in Boomi. So quickly, uh, I will show you how to consume this API in Boomi. Okay, so let's start. So here you can see, uh, I have created one process to consume this API in Boomi. How to consume this API in Boomi. Okay, so for consuming any API in Boomi, we should always use HTTP client connected. Okay, so I have started a uh, start set with no data type. I've used then uh, one set property. So the reason I have used set property because uh, I wanted to make parameter as a dynamic. So I have given a uh, one zero value, but yeah, we can change also, but yeah, uh, I have used this DDP. So, and then uh, we will go to HTTP client configuration. Here you can see uh, first connection. So in connection, we need to write our base bar, whatever we got from shared web server. So we have, I have written it and you can see it is matching. And then I have, I didn't choose any authentication. So I can simply uh, set it now. Okay. Then uh, I can see because this is get call. So I'm choosing action as a get, and then uh, I'm continuing operation. So in operation, we have few details to configure. So here you can see select our uh, input profile type because we didn't given any input profile type. So that would be done as it is get call. And the response uh, that we know like it will give JSON data. So I have configured a uh, JSON profile as well. And the content type will be just applications like JSON. And actually, we already know that it would be get. There is a few options like a return HTTP response. So it is very important sometimes because uh, what it will do, it, uh, whenever your process will fail, it will not halt the process. Instead of that, it will give response in error, uh, error in response for me. Okay, now uh, what we need to configure like a resource bar. So whatever uh, path uh, we have written after this, we need to write into resource bar. So yeah. Here I can directly write 101, but I want to make it dynamic. So I will leave it and I will add this resource bar and I will write DDP value here and check this checkbox. So it will make it dynamic. So whatever value will come into DDP, it will replace here. Okay. So that's I've done. Quickly we will add it and add it starts, it stops it. Okay. Let's Let's test it and see what we are we are getting as expected or not. Okay, let's see what we got. Looks like we got the response. Okay, awesome. So we are getting a response as expected. So in this overall cycle, we we got to know how to expose API what, how to uh, configure URI parameter, how to use API service component and make our API complete REST API and how to consume that API, which we have exposed earlier. Okay, so thank you so much. Let's uh, catch up in next lecture. Thank you.